Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today's video is going to be another self-care reset day. So I am just going to be taking you guys along with me on a Sunday where I am just resetting for my week. So we'll be doing some cooking, cleaning, hygiene, cocktails, desserts, and I've decided to add in some like meal preps and hair care prep into this video as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get straight into it. So this Sunday, I decided I was going to have a nice self-care morning, okay? It's been a while since I've just taken my time in the morning and really gotten myself together. So I thought, why not do it on this Sunday? So I'm starting off with a base bar soap. Um, this is Dr. Bronner's. I usually use the peppermint one, but I've been trying out the almond one because the peppermint one I love, but it's a little bit spicy, you know? So I'm just trying out something new. I also switched up some of my body washes. Um, so I'm just trying new products that pair together but i'm about to give you guys an updated hygiene routine soon so stay tuned okay also i've been thinking about doing like an asmr self-care video let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that but anyways okay this is one of my little new things that i'm doing in the shower with these little pads i'm gonna go more in depth into it in my next video but you guys saw i'm just washing up with the necessary body wash um, I love a fragrance-free, gentle body wash, okay? It's real cute to use all the fragrance stuff sometimes, but baby, as you get older, your skin just, it appreciates something just clean ingredients, fragrance-free, okay? And body wash scents, honestly, they last sometimes, but not usually that well on the skin anyways after you rinse it off. So I'm just going to wash up my whole body and rinse off. And then we're gonna get into a little bit of a body scrub. Ugh. I really, really like this body scrub, you guys. I actually did, I think, share this in another video, this scrub um, in a shower routine, but it's by the Love Planet Beauty and it smells delicious. Like the fragrance really would got it for me. The scrub, it, it's not really giving scrub, it's giving polish, but yeah. But anyways, okay, let's move on to hair care. So I'm gonna actually show you guys how I make this later in the video because I needed to fill back up my bottle. But basically this is rosemary water and y'all, I'm going back on a healthy hair journey and I'm growing my hair back out, which I will talk about in a vlog. But this, ooh, will grow your hair back, baby. Okay, it's already helped a, a lot with my postpartum shedding. So I'm just applying it in this root um, bottle applicator that I will link for you guys. I found it off of Amazon. And I'm just going to cover my hair up with a shower cap and we're basically going to let that sit in my hair for the rest of the day. But also, we're about to do a little hair steam treatment while we're in the bath. It's giving very much self-care. Oh my gosh, you guys. Literally, I enjoyed this little routine so much <laughs> because I got to take a nice warm bubble bath and oh, it was just a vibe. So anyways, I'm using these little lavender bubble pods that um, I use for my kids. So they're like made obviously for toddlers and babies so they're sensitive for your skin it's not going to throw off my ph um and then i also used some coconut oil to put in the water just to soften it up so it's not so harsh on my skin i got this little hair steamer off of amazon you guys one thing about me is when I'm on a hair care journey, I'm really into my hair care. And so I decided that it would be worth the investment to get one of these since I'm trying to grow out my hair and I can do some at-home treatment. And then after I get out of the bath, we're just gonna go ahead and get into body care. You guys know that I love Necessary products and I have been using their products long before they have ever sponsored any of my videos. So today I'm really excited to be partnering with them again to tell you guys about their new daily edit. It's a trio of everyday skincare essentials. It's the body serum, which you guys know I absolutely love. Also the body lotion that I love. And now they have a new 100% mineral SPF. The lotion serves a purpose of moisturizing and nourishing and strengthening the skin while the hyaluronic acid hydrates for 
varnish and plumps the skin. And the mineral sunscreen is meant to protect, prevent, and hydrate. It is designed as an everyday skincare essential for your face, neck, and decolletage, and it is infused with clinical level hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and peptides for rehydration, firming, and protecting the skin. There's no silicones, no parabens, no chemical sunscreens, and no synthetic fragrance. I personally love mineral sunscreens as opposed to chemical sunscreens because mineral sunscreens consist of active natural ingredients like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide that form a physical barrier on top of the skin to reflect the UV rays. Mineral sunscreens are suitable for all skin types and conditions, especially sensitive skin. With a physical sunscreen that's made with zinc oxide, it will sometimes leave a cast on the skin. So to minimize the cast, their formula features advanced zinc technology. So if you experience any cast, they recommend just waiting up to 10 minutes post application for the formula to set in. If you guys are interested in checking out the daily edit, you can use my code WALKER10 for 10% off the entire Necessaire website. So after we've had a nice slow self-care morning, we are motivated to get this house together so of course we're going to start off with a cup of water it's really important to make sure that we're staying hydrated i personally can slack in this area quite often so i try to you know keep up with it and fill up this little cup that i have a couple times a day but this is your reminder to drink your water okay sis moving on you guys know i get my grocery deliveries in the morning um, usually from Kroger, I did not get a lot of stuff this morning. Everything that you guys see on the counter is literally what I got. And that's because I'm back in a recipe rut, okay? I knew what I was going to cook for dinner, but I didn't know what I wanted to buy for the rest of the week. And I didn't want to waste food. So we'll talk about that later. But we're going to get into these cinnamon rolls. I have been dying to do this, um, like at home but it basically like you 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 dressing up the cinnamon rolls i've seen this all over tiktok multiple times so many people have done it and i was like listen one thing about this household we gonna eat some cinnamon rolls so i was like might as well try it so basically this is how i did it i'll also link the tiktok if you guys want to see the tiktok as well um but i used two cans of cinnamon rolls i put them in a baking dish and just you know i squeezed them all in there i think i got maybe like a total of six cinnamon rolls i think there was eight in each bag and i just squished them in there it don't gotta look pretty okay so after you get all the cinnamon rolls squished in there i'm just gonna go ahead and put some heavy cream in there i basically did enough to line the bottom of the pan if that makes sense okay and then we're gonna go ahead and add some cinnamon i thought i od'd the cinnamon to be honest i was like ooh. after i looked at it i was like damn that's gonna be way too much y'all it was so good you know me measure with your heart okay we're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar on the top of it too because you can never go wrong with adding a little bit of sugar to some already pre-made mixes or baking things just trust me okay add that brown sugar on there and then i'm just gonna go ahead and place it in the oven i followed the instructions for the cinnamon rolls like on the packaging i want to say it's like 350 or something like that and they take about like 25 minutes so while those are cooking um I, I don't know what i was doing this day yeah okay so i think i started to clean out the fridge is what i started doing because i'm not going to self-diagnose myself with anything but it's just mom brain out y'all are going to see me go from like one thing and hop to the next thing so randomly in this video but this is how my sundays be going so i guess i decided to tackle the fridge and i'm just cleaning it out and like um taking stuff out of the packaging from my previous grocery order and that's why i didn't order order a lot of groceries this week because i was like okay you already got some stuff from last week that you still haven't used yet so maybe you just need to slow down and, and kind of reset so basically what i think i'm going to start doing again is um, getting my hello fresh meals delivered because I honestly I really do get into a recipe where like I'll be so motivated to cook for like one week and I'll be like mm, what am I gonna cook or mm, I don't really have time to like you know portion out these meals every time I just need something quick and easy to go and hello fresh really does offer that this is not sponsored um, but I do like their meals so I think I'm gonna go back to having my hello fresh meals delivered I stopped whenever we moved um, like right after we moved my subscription was up so I think I'm definitely going to start getting back on that and then just planning out my own meal maybe like a couple times a week like on uh oh that that cauliflower was multi okay anyways um, start just planning out a good meal that I'll cook from scratch my own recipe like on Sundays or something like that but yeah okay we went through the fridge and now we're going to get back to breakfast um this 
morning's breakfast, the, the main kicker here was the cinnamon roll. I think I made a side of turkey bacon and eggs as well, but the kids were playing outside, so I let them eat outside with a side of fruit and it just honestly it wasn't nothing fancy. I just I whipped up the eggs, scrambled in, which you guys will see um in the some clips in this video but y'all I literally stood here and admired these cinnamon rolls for like 10 minutes look at that that don't look good to you but when I tell you these were the best cinnamon rolls I've ever ate in my entire life oh smashed all of them the whole entire pan was gone okay but anyways I guess I'm finishing scrambling up the eggs which I am like okay whatever girl Scramble up them eggs real quick, but let's get back into the cinnamon rolls. Yes, ma'am. Look at this. Rich and creamy, okay? Ditch the frosting that they give you. Buy like a jug or bottle, whatever, of this frosting and just like layer it. You know what I'm saying? Like just really get in there. A whole bunch of it, okay? And then serve warm. Oh my God. Amazing. You're welcome. <laughs> After breakfast, we have uh, a ton of dishes to do, and I just want to be the first one to say that I do not like just wake up every day and I'm like, oh my goodness, I look so forward to cleaning my house like every day. I'm like, I, I I'm gonna hire a housekeeper because this is too much. Immediately, no, like I I don't want to do it. But however, I have started to somewhat enjoy the process of cleaning. I feel like it's hard to enjoy it when you like, <sighs> I don't know how to explain, but basically sometimes I feel like I can get overwhelmed um, by cleaning or I didn't used to enjoy it as much when I would take for granted the things that I had. Um, you know which i feel like is a human thing like we all just you know get used to seeing our same stuff in our house every day and you just forget like how blessed you are to like have all of the things that you have so when i start putting myself back into that mindset it's like okay you know if god has blessed me with these things and you know allowed me to have them then the least i could do is take care of them so i try to use that as my motivation <laughs> to clean it's obviously easier said than done but this also another thing that really helps me is watching aesthetically pleasing cleaning videos whether that be like something like this that i'm doing or like even just like a short little video on tiktok or something or seeing like new ways that people clean and just getting inspo from new products just little things that can kind of put the excitement back into cleaning i really almost did not even like clean this day or do anything i kind of like got a late start to the day to be honest but here i am so if that's you today just go ahead and get up and get it done even if you're watching this like in the middle of the week do not wait until sunday or whatever day you reset on don't procrastinate procrastination is your worst enemy everything will just continue to pile up so at least clean up what you can that's what i've been telling myself every single day is like okay girl just because your whole house is not unpacked and in, in order doesn't mean you can just leave stuff a mess because that's just making it worse so at least pick up behind yourself and do what you can to stay on top of it and then when you have time we'll do the rest of it. but yeah anyways okay that was my little motivational speech of the video <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cleaning 
the kitchen okay and then i'm just gonna probably let the video play for a little while we're just gonna be doing some speed cleaning together So after I was done cleaning, I went to Trader Joe's to pick up a couple of other things. My Kroger order was missing some produce that I had ordered. So I figured why not go get me some fresh flowers. I need to pick up a couple of items for the drink that I wanted to make tonight. So I stopped by Trader Joe's. So, oh, and Starbucks. What did I get? I got like a peach green tea with lemonade, but I think I got like a pump of raspberry or something. I don't know. It was good though. Okay, Starbucks refreshers. I'll give it to them 10-10. Did a little quick outfit change because I had been cleaning in those clothes all morning and I went to the store in them. So I just went ahead and changed my shirt. I think this shirt is so cute and it really matched my flowers and the vibe and the aesthetic of the video. So, okay, but anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and unpack all of the groceries that I got and do a little flower arrangement so yeah girl go to trader joe's and get you some cute flowers i heard whole foods has nice flowers as well um but yeah something about fresh flowers in the house every week is just it's a vibe okay
and what you guys are gonna see me do here is a trick that i learned off tiktok to like tiktok come through but anyways if you roll the rose in between your hand it kind of just like fluffs it up and spreads out the petals so that's what i'm about to do just fluff up all of the the little roses and add them to my bouquet i really want to learn how to make like really pretty bouquets and stuff so i think that's going to be something i try to start doing in these videos or on sundays as a little um you know teaching moment for me because honestly these videos i've said this a lot of times but like these videos like literally make me get up and have productive sundays which is why i like filming them and then also i get to learn new stuff and teach myself things as well from you guys's comments and tips and then me just trying out like literally new things every week whether that's recipes drinks flower arrangements whatever it's just giving very much okay we're trying to live our best life um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and set the vibe with this little candle i got from target it's in the scent pompous it's from the brand um y'all know them chip and joanna the, the magnolia brand um yeah so we're just gonna light a little candle and, and make it a vibe in the kitchen <laughs> So for meal prep this week, I decided I was going to do a pasta salad. I used to eat pasta salad all the time. It was one of my actual like quick go-to meals that I did a lot when I was younger. Um, but I am spicing it up a little bit and adding peppers to it and some tomatoes. So that's what you guys are going to see me doing. I think I also cut up some, ooh, is it mozzarella? I want to say it was mozzarella cheese. And then I just topped it off with Italian dressing again. A little recipe i seen on tiktok okay so i will go ahead and link that for you guys if you're interested but that's what you're about to see me do
Okay, so another thing that I want to go ahead and prep was just a protein for the week. Again, something that I could, you know, snack on for lunch or something. I get in a really bad habit of forgetting to feed myself throughout the day. Like, I will cook breakfast for my kids and I will forget to eat breakfast myself. And then I'll cook my kids lunch and I will forget to feed myself lunch and then by the time dinner rolls around i'm like scarfing down whatever i can get and then i'm usually hungry again at like midnight so i'm trying to get in better eating habits so i figured if i had something that was already made it would just be easy for me so i already like washed and all my chicken and all that i'm just gonna make it real simple put it in the oven put a little olive oil on there and seasoned it up and baked it um but if you have an air fryer 10 times better it really took so long cooking the chicken in the oven not gonna lie because these were like really thick breast so yeah but it's 
Moving on to some skincare prep, I guess, if you want to say. Um, another thing that you really got from TikTok, um, but I used to do this all the time. Like I used to take fresh aloe vera and just use it on my hair and my face, but this was a new way that I saw to use it. And I thought it was really cool because if you guys know me or you're not new to my channel, I love icing my face. It is like honestly addicting. It feels so good. I like to do it in the morning. I like to do it at night. It helps with inflammation and swelling really, really bad, which my face does. Um, get like red and inflamed if I like pick at any of my breakouts or anything So just something a really good skincare tip um, Is icing your face, but we're taking it to the next level and we are going to um, basically Make aloe vera pops If that makes sense. So instead of using like regular ice on my face I'm going to be using frozen aloe vera. So I'll be getting the benefits of the aloe vera leaf plus the icing so i thought that was really cool so that's what i'm about to do y'all are gonna see me struggling cutting this aloe vera leaf if you know a better way please feel free to comment i feel like i've cut an aloe vera leaf like a hundred times and every time it's just it's hard um because of the way the plant is and it's really slimy and you don't want to cut yourself so yeah y'all go ahead and watch me struggle making this but but yeah basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to um cut off the skin so that i can get to the gel once i get to the gel i'm just gonna like scrape it out with a spoon and then basically we're just going to plop in the gel in the blender with a teeny bit of water just so that it's um like easier to mix in the blender and then once it's all blended you want to let it sit for a little while so it can kind of solidify it'll be really foamy when you first blend it which you guys will see and then after it's done we'll come back to it and pour it in our little molds Now for the rosemary water that I was telling you guys about at the beginning of the video that you guys saw me using. Basically what I do is I take rosemary leaves. You can literally get these probably at any grocery store. Um, and you're just going to boil them in a pot of water. And it honestly doesn't really take that long. You can boil it for about 10 minutes and then it's usually ready. Um, the water will start to turn like a light red color and then um as it sits it will continue to and darken but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and let that boil and while that's boiling i'm just gonna go ahead and unload the dishwasher for the thousandth time but it's got to be done it's got to be done you just got to keep going okay one thing that i saw you guys that really helped me you know just like stay motivated i feel like i'm a person who has like a really good work ethic and i just am like you know this is life and you have to go through it but um i was listening to a reel the other day and they just put it in like perfect context for me where it really clicked in my head and it was just like that basically every day is hard work like faith without works is nothing and you gotta work hard for what you want and some people might not think housework and cleaning and keeping up with all your you know just you know day-to-day -day normal things is hard work but it is and it takes a lot to stay motivated and to you know pick up after yourself and keep a clean house and so yeah anyways i don't know why i'm feeling so <clears throat> motivational speechy today <laughs> but yeah you guys i've just been really in a new chapter of my life and i'm not gonna lie like i um i i i've been struggling to get back into a routine so every day for me is just a wake up and work hard mckenna like do whatever you can do today to make today 
as productive as possible and if I can leave off on that note knowing that I tried then it was a good day and I'm just slowly starting to get back into routine but moral of the story is is just push yourself as hard as you can you only have one life so you might as well make the most of it okay girl like it's cool to relax and you know obviously you know go slower pace sometimes and enjoy days and have time off because breaks are definitely needed but um push yourself a little bit harder I think you'll be surprised you know at what you can accomplish But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like I have, you know, kind of just struggled getting back into a routine. And for me, I'm the type of person who is literally like, I'm, I would, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a control freak. So when I can't like figure things out or like I'm not on like a schedule, my brain kind of like goes all over the place. So it's something that I've been struggling with. But again, I'm just like taking it day by day, adjusting to having a newborn again. And then, you know, also reminding myself that I do have to give myself grace and I can slow down sometimes. But I just never want to forget that, like, you know, even having this opportunity of doing YouTube, that God would even, you know, allow me the chance to have an opportunity like this. And so that's what I remind myself of every day is just to make the most of it because... Okay, so finally the chicken was done so I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut it up and then I think I just put it in a little Ziploc baggie and just threw it in the fridge so again I have this as another little snack if I just need a quick quick bite to eat and I feel like I don't have time to like prep myself or make myself any lunch during the day. Okay, so once the rosemary water has cooled down, I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer it to a glass jar. And so basically this is how I store it. I will fill up my little um, root comb bottle like as much as I can and then whatever's left over, I'll just keep in the fridge and then I can refill it throughout the week. And that's pretty much how I keep it good, but I would recommend trying out rosemary water. Jumping straight into dinner, we are peeling these potatoes clearly very, very quickly. No, it actually took me a long time, but I just sped it up for you guys. So tonight I am making basically like smothered chicken or mashed potatoes and chicken with gravy, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is a recipe on TikTok, so I will try to link that for you guys. Dang, I have like literally TikTok, TikTok, TikTok is this whole video inspo apparently, but um yeah, so I'm just using golden potatoes. These are my favorite um, type of potatoes. I'll use rusted if I have to, but golden potatoes are definitely my favorite for making mashed potatoes. So I'm just peeling all the skin off of them and then I'm just gonna cut them into like fourths. Um, we're gonna boil them and they're gonna be mashed so the cuts don't have to be perfect or anything. I went ahead and already started boiling the water so they can cook faster and added a little bit of salt to the water as well. And then after I'm done cutting them, I'm just gonna throw them in the pot of hot water.
Some other ingredients we're gonna need is a whole stick of butter, an onion, a garlic clove or minced garlic, whichever you prefer. I personally will never be chopping actual garlic again. It was a pain in the ASS. Um, and then all of your basic seasonings. So <laughs> um, I just went ahead and diced up the onion. Y'all, please do not judge me for the way I was cutting this onion. I really want to take cooking classes i mean so i can like really learn some like knife skills and techniques but for now we just um we're just trying to get it into small little bitty pieces and that's all i really care about so we're just gonna go ahead and <laughs> dice the onion up um as finely as we possibly can and then you're also going to want to mince your garlic or get pre-minced garlic I cut out the clip of me mincing the garlic, y'all, because it was just, honest to God, embarrassing. I was trying to, like, grate it on a cheese grater by the end of the time trying to cut it because it just, it was not giving. So, yeah. But yeah, you're just going to want to go ahead and add a whole stick of butter to a pot. We are basically making the roux for the gravy. I think that's what it's called. Whole stick of butter. We're gonna drop in all of our onions and minced garlic. And then just go ahead and give it a quick mix. Stir it around, let the um, onions soften a little bit and get translucent. And then we're gonna add some flour. And I do have to tell you guys, this video is gonna get a little bit, um, less aesthetic -y towards the end but we'll talk about that when we get into the drink moral of the story is i will not be drinking my drink while cooking anymore you guys it's kind of funny but it also reminded me while i was editing that i had a really good time just enjoyed myself this sunday so <laughs> i'm not even mad about it but yeah okay after that we're just gonna go ahead and add some chicken broth chicken stock in there and then season it with your seasonings so for my seasonings i used like um garlic salt garlic powder onion powder regular salt pepper you know all the regular stuff and we're just gonna go ahead and drop some skinless chicken thighs right into the pot and then we'll just cover this and i want to say you got to let it cook for about 30 minutes so this is kind of like a slow cooker meal but it's so worth it, it is honestly delicious and while that's cooking and the mashed potatoes are going we are also going to do some asparagus as our side now nah. Everybody cooks their asparagus differently. This is how I do it. If you like your asparagus crispy, you should put it in the oven. I like mine steamed, so I do it in a pan, like and saute it and steam it basically. Um, I think it's really good that way. Some people don't like it that way, but whatever. This is my preference. Season that joint up. Okay, do vegetables still have the nutritional value if you put all this stuff on there and cook them in butter? I don't know, but they are good like this. So I'm just gonna use the same seasonings that I used for the chicken and season up my asparagus. I also put some butter in the pan as well, and then I'm just going to cover it and let it steam for as long as it needs until it's nice and soft, but also has a little bit of crispiness from being sauteed on the pan. Oh so good and then the mashed potatoes were done nice and soft if you don't know when your mashed potatoes are done they just need to be fork tender basically um and then that's how you know you take them off stove for my mashed potatoes whole stick of butter okay can y'all tell i really like butter <laughs> um and then we're gonna go ahead and season a little bit of pepper garlic salt garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder and yeah, that's basically how I like to season up my mashed potatoes. I'm also going to add in some sour cream. Don't look at the jar. It looks a little bit crusty, but that's because um, I got some salsa on it when I was doing tacos one night. But it's good. It's not bad or anything. And then also going to add in some heavy cream to the mashed potatoes as well. And then instead of trying to beat them with a fork, I like to use a hand mixer and just get them real nice and smooth and get all the chunks out of there. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, for the cocktail, we are making my favorite drink. This is literally what I order every single time I go out to a restaurant, bar, etc. It doesn't matter where I am. Oh, baby, I'm gonna give me a Long Island tea. And I had to take a quick picture because it was very aesthetic-y looking. Um, but anyways, 
yeah, I've never made a Long Island at home, so I figured, well, why not? We are shortly going to see why that was probably a mistake to drink it while cooking dinner because it is so strong. And I was even missing one of the liquors, but basically we're going to go ahead and add some lemon juice in there. I don't be measuring stuff exactly how it's supposed to. I followed an inspo video from that I found that I will um, link for you guys. But yeah, you need lemon juice, simple syrup, and then you need like five different liquors to make a Long Island, which I thought I had all of them, but I was missing rum, I think. So I added some extra tequila <laughs> from Cosmo. <laughs> But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the little shots in. So we have some gin. Um, and y'all, I've just been recycling all the like old alcohol I've been having in my cabinet because I was literally pregnant for nine months and couldn't drink. So, you know, alcohol don't go bad. So we just going through all the, all the old cheap liquor that I had. But yeah, so a little shot of Cosmico, the, what was that, the Blanco? And then this is the other one. Lord knows, I do not know the names of these liquors, but I'm putting three of these i guess and then i think that's all i did but you know a real long island tea got like two more different type of liquors in it so baby they're strong okay one of these will get you <laughs> get you where you need to be so i'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up in my little shaker i love making these little cocktails makes me feel like a barista but i cannot figure out why my thing keeps leaking y'all it's always leaking it's so annoying and then we're just gonna go ahead and top it off with some coke because that's how you make a Long Island. And I squeezed a little bit of extra lemon in there because I really like lemon. And I put one on the side because I was trying to make it cute. But it would not stay <laughs> on the cup, you guys. I think I didn't slice it right. But anyways, there we go. That's what it looked like for the little time the lemon slice stayed on there. And it was so good. Like, it was so good. This was, oh, I guess I'm biased because I already really like Long Island teas, but it was so good. Y'all can see that cup is already almost gone. And it, it had me feeling right, okay? Making dessert tonight is, is gonna be funny. So just stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna be making some peach cobbler. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, shred the chicken. The chicken was done. I'm getting all the meat off the bone, okay? And while you're shredding the chicken, basically you're just going to let the gravy thicken up. So you turn up the heat a little bit and like I said, let it get a little bit thicker, add the chicken back in there and then it's basically ready to serve once the mashed potatoes are done. We're gonna get into the peach cobbler. Um, my boys, they they wanted to help. My oldest especially loves being in the kitchen. So we're looking at this recipe for this peach cobbler that I did not wanna make because I was like, oh my God, this is actually gonna take a really long time. This is not quick and simple and easy at all, but I was like, we gonna thug it out because it looked good, so might as well try it. <laughs> I will link the video, of course, for you guys um, if you want to see or get some inspo for this as well. But okay, basically, here's my pep talk. I was a little tipsy by this point, so what I'm about to do, I do not want y'all to judge me for. I am sharing with y'all the real and the raw, but also giving you a good dessert recipe option. So anyways, the video said to score the peaches, so I am scoring the peaches, and then apparently you're supposed to boil the peaches. And we are making basically what would be kind of like the crust part of it, and y'all see me, y'all do see me measuring with my hands. This meal was made with love. I'm literally cracking up the whole time. I do not have measuring cups, you guys. Like, I got all the way into deciding to make this recipe, and I had no measuring cups. Um, so I was like, oh, we're going to thug it out. We're going to do it with our hands and make it fun and messy, and it came out good. So I don't want to hear nothing about it. Nah, 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 no. yeah. Oh, I can't let it take myself. Nah, 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 no. yeah. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before he hit the fence. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these hoes, cause my last name ain't Kent. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. 
Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I learned my right from wrong on a song. I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones. I'm trying to write my wrongs by writing out my wrongs. Ran through a check, cause it's hard to live off bread alone. So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know. Cause it ain't the end of times yet. I don't know, but it's getting close. Yeah, I need my space to breathe. That's why I be going ghost. I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road. Cause I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. They thinking I'm bluffing, but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. We're sending you verb, if I get my little oozy. Yeah, that was it for the video, you guys. I literally was just jamming out, finished making the peach cobbler. It was, oh my God, it was so good. Okay, like, I mean, so good. So if you usually don't try making stuff at home yourself or you don't feel like you're the best cook, which is kind of how I feel, y'all saw me throw this hot mess dessert together, but it came out so good. So just try it, get in the kitchen, practice, okay? Let that be your thing this week if you don't normally like make desserts or bake or cook or whatever it is just try something you might surprise yourself okay because when i first started getting in the kitchen a couple years ago when i was younger oh baby <laughs> it was a wreck but we're making progress <laughs> so thank you guys again so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in another video